Are you ready to discover who you came here to be? Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. Human Design is a system and a tool that is here to empower you and show you your greatest potential. Come learn with us and discover who you really are. Hi friends, Crystal here. New year and new you, and boy, do we have some new tools for you to help you transform your life into the one you have always dreamed of. We have some new ways for you to connect with us over outside of the show. So we have a free guide on tips and tricks to honoring your strategy and authority. We also have a language manual to your true self to help you understand the key terms in human design and how to apply them to reading your human design chart and also to your life. And we are so happy to announce doors are now open for the cosmic community, which is a no commitment or five month commitment package to connecting with us over in our private Facebook group. You will have the chance to connect with Leah and myself each month with our premium episodes through our program plus monthly forecast. There's also weekly aura energy updates, weekly tarot card polls connected to a human design gate, monthly market shares for fellow entrepreneurs to share their work and exclusive bonus content you will not be getting anywhere else from us. Come join the cosmic community to understand how to utilize the transits to your advantage and have a safe space to learn, grow, and connect. And we also have our children's class called Nurture Your Child Through Their Design. And our most popular classes are our variable mini classes, which are bite-sized, self-paced audios and guidebooks on the first two transformations. And if you want to stay connected with some education and love from us, join our email list and check out our website, which you can find that and every offer I just discussed down below in the show notes. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you over on our next episode. Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. I'm Crystal. And I'm Leah. And this is the podcast you've been waiting for. You have to start out with laughing. If you guys don't know, if like you're like, what is happening during that intro? We're dancing. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you're missing some fantastic dance moves that you're (laughs) going to want to borrow, okay, at your next dance party that you're Mm -hmm. probably like in your 30s and you're not going to. But they're legit. If you you need some dance moves, (laughs) we have them. One day I said, one day we're going to come up with like a coordinated choreographed move. Maybe one day when we actually meet each other. Uh, yeah, we don't know each other. We've never met. No, you guys know I, that you're in my dreams all the time, though. I'm like, this is it's like yeah, we're very uh, connected. Telling us. But we've, we've literally <laughs> never met each other. I've been waiting. Yeah, I'm just going to say it on here. I've been waiting for Leah <laughs> to in- invite me or to just come to my place for two years now two yeah <laughs> so you guys message her and tell her get your booty down to north carolina you know or just invite me up to massachusetts mm-hmm. who cares maine crystal or maine i'm sorry <laughs> wherever you, where the hell do you live <laughs> see i don't even <laughs> <laughs> they're close though but they're very close in proximity i'm close yeah. enough Close enough. (laughs) (laughs) So anyways, welcome to the podcast or welcome to the program. We do have different types of episodes on this podcast if you're new here. Um, This is this podcast, when you see the word 
program come up, whether on wherever you're streaming podcasts or on our YouTube channel. That is our weekly episode that we consistently do where we call it the program because we live in an assimilation, as I talk about all the time on here, a movie, a TV show, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And so each week we're tuning into a new episode or a new program each week. It's really interesting the way the kind of cosmos have created this whole we'll call it a sequence because we're really traveling through a coupling pair if you're if, in ref, in reference to human design the sun and the earth gates they travel together in pairs because they are exactly opposite each other on the wheel so if you were to look at the wheel okay look at the mandala you would see that the sun and the earth are opposite each other there's yin energy from the earth and Oh, wait, yeah, yin, and I'm like, what? Hold on. Yin energy <laughs> from the earth and yang energy from the sun. And when they come together, they create a whole new storyline for us each week. They also travel together in the nodes because the nodes, as you know, or maybe you don't, <laughs> are also opposite each other, right? Mm -hmm. From the moon, exactly 180, I think it's 180 degrees apart. I think so. I think so. Um like sometimes I say things and I'm like, wait, was that right? I can't remember. Yeah. There's too many things to remember. Um, so yeah, so we're we're talking about what episode are you guys tuning into each week? And we go through how to make the most out of your week, what's happening. There's some stuff happening this week. It's not like I feel like we've had a lot of stuff just like being thrown at us lately. This week there's stuff being thrown at us, but it's nothing like super major in the transits like last week where Saturn went into Pisces. It's not mm -hmm. that major, but there's there will be a lot of ups and downs for this week. So I'm looking forward to that with having my emotional mother in town. Uh, she's coming in today. So it's like, of course, of course, it is all emotions, literally all like ups and downs. Perfect. We have a whole new wave that starts. I think it's the week that we're in currently because we record this ahead of time. Um, and then it's going to trickle into the next week. And then the sun and the earth gates are also <laughs> emotions this week, or at least the beginning, middle, mo majority, of, the majority of the week are going to be emotions. So, but then we enter into love. So the following week, the end of this week, and then the following week are all going to be about love. So can't wait. Yeah, because well, you got to go through like in. we go through the, all of that stuff to get to clarity or, you know, I don't know. Well, to don't get know. through, uh, I think a, what I think it's trying or what I think it's going to try to do and what I've seen it do in the past with these uh, these coupling pairs that are coming in and the next ones that are coming in is that it's like we have to go through like we have to have friction. We have mm -hmm. to grow. Right. Mm -hmm. And so once we grow, then we can embrace and find acceptance, which is what the sun is going to do for us at the end of the week into the next. And so it's like if we understood, if we truly understood as humanity that we have to go through some sort of crisis, conflict, hard time to then allow ourselves to accept and grow and become the person we came here to be. That's the whole point of this human experience. So it's like yeah. we're going to be traveling through versions of that that I'm not going to be happy about. I'm always like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I'm over here drowning. So <laughs> I'm going to be drowning in extra emotions. Like all, like everything is going to be activated in the solar plexus for me this next week between my mom my mm. husband, and then the transits. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be hidden. I'm not, I probably will be, uh, I feel like this next week is going to be a good time to like hide in my closet mm, um, yeah. <laughs> be doing a Just lot like put your shield up you and will... hope that the transits don't hit you or something yeah you'll see do. me guys in my stories just like okay i have to get out of here guys i'm just like i wanted to come and just like take some space so and like that's gonna be me mm -hmm. so just i feel like my either my stories are gonna be dead next week or they're gonna be super lively and active so <laughs> i don't know but instagram has been fucking weird and fucking me over lately so uh <clears throat> they're doing all kinds of weird stuff in there i don't know i don't it's know what's not going helpful on for us 
that humans helpful for trying no. to you do f- something. You fucked up my business, Instagram. <laughs> because I used to sell a lot on there. And now my stories have been fucked up since that one glitch that happened months ago. Never been the same since. Never. Yeah. I keep telling people are like, I, I don't see your stories anymore. Hit the fucking notification bell. Okay? Mm-hmm. Hit the notification bell if you want to see my stories. Because I actually help you guys understand in my stories week by week, day by day, how all of this is playing out. We talk about the transits more in depth a lot of times in my stories. I ask you guys questions. I answer questions for you. Uh, You get to see how human design is playing out in real life. And speaking of that, if you did not watch our latest human design diaries, what are you doing? Go do it. This one was fantastic. It's so good. And actually speaking of that, the manifesto that helped us with that video, he's on our podcast. He was on our podcast last week. So mm-hmm. if you didn't listen to that episode um, with Dave, not my husband, uh, <laughs> maybe you've heard that my husband's name is Dave. It's not the same person. Dave um, the manifester. <clears throat> Dave, Dave the manifester. And then there's Dave the generator. Uh, Dave the generator is my husband. Dave the manifester is also someone I've never met. Um we mm-hmm. just we 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 bridge a lot of each other's hanging gates and he actually bridges one of the channels that's coming in this week for me mm-hmm. that's um one of my splits and so yeah we we're we're funny together uh i watched i watched that's the, a good one yeah i watched that episode dave is just so funny he makes me laugh so hard yeah just but like not on purpose at all no all acts or is it though because it's hard to tell because sometimes he's like says it and then he looks and you're like oh yeah he does like he does he did tell me that he likes to get a little of attention i wonder david yeah. is listening to this right now i know he says sometimes he listens to <laughs> our episodes yeah. um it's so what it's episode 122 when you if you want to go back to it it's just the one before this one yeah, the one right before this one is is Dave's episode. If you, so if you want to learn about or you want to watch what it looks like to be a manifester, emotional manifester. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, it's so funny that and this is this all this is how you know the transits are working. But um, two of the channels that he has is going to be in transit when we drop this epi- the episode on him and also half of it. So it's like, you know, that's what happens when mm-hmm. you. When you um, are interacting with other people and like they come into your sphere, okay, they come into your bubble, they come into your aura, a lot of times that's what's playing out in the transits. So it's like if you just stop for a second and first of all, you're going to have to know everyone's fucking chart, okay? (laughs) You're just going to have to know everyone's chart. Everybody. (laughs) But like for example, Saturn just went into gate 55, right? The gate of spirit and my mom has this entire channel and Mm. so she's coming in the like the day after this moves in and so she's gonna shut like she's gonna wait my mom always wakes me the fuck up that's what this that's what channel of emoting does it wakes you the fuck up i call 39 the hot poker stick Mm -hmm. and um yeah so (laughs) it's always it's always a good time but what's actually funnier is my husband with her which he probably can hear me right now because my door is open because I have to listen for the little one because he's out there right now. But um, he always like, and he has, he has an undefined solar plexus. So he'll never tell her, like literally never tell her that Mm -hmm. you're annoying the fuck out of me. Cause my mom just like, she just does things and she's high, high sound. So literally I would love for a high sound person to tell me that they're not loud. I have literally never met or worked with a high sound person that wasn't loud as fuck. You got you like your 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 entire body is loud. Just everything <laughs> you do is loud. Your voice is a higher octave than everybody else's. You do not need a megaphone. Like if you need someone to speak in an audience, go find a fucking high sound person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. speak for you, and then they'll amplify their voice to some out to everybody else. My mm-hmm. uh. My youngest is also high sound. And Dave always says, why is this kid so fucking loud? Just like hit, like, just like him, like his body's loud. He's like, Otis is actually like in like the 20th percentile for height and weight. He's very small. Yeah. And, but he's dense. 
he's like built like a linebacker. My my son, he's a third, <laughs> he has a third line body, which I've I've I just have this theory to take, that be we're able just to take heavier. the blows. Yeah. yeah, we're just heavier for some reason. Even if we're not, like we just like when I hold Otis, it's like holding like a bag of rocks. Like I and like he is lighter than Milo used to be when he they were the same age. Milo was lighter. Hmm. It's it is just the strangest thing. But when he he like likes to run through the house and it is loud as fuck. So whenever he like wakes up in the middle of the night, all of a sudden you hear boom, 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 boom. And you're like, you better hope that no one's coming or thinking like not having a dream that someone's like robbing your house. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what you're going to experience in your that's dream. Funny. That's funny. Corinna is like because Corinna is calm. She's completely opposite. So she will wake up next. I'll wake up with her You'll standing next to there. me. No, she was like tapping <laughs> like last night. She's tapping on my elbow while I'm sleeping. And I turn over and she's standing there and I was, grabbed her face. I was like, what are you doing in here? She's like, <laughs> I had to wake up. And I was like, no, no, no. Or like oh this God, morning. Her- Milo did that the other day. Oh, it's so it's 5 a.m. and turn the TV on. It's literally like it's like the Chucky, you know, like they're standing next to you and you're like, what are you doing? Like, how did you appear here? Yeah, and you're yeah. scaring the crap out of me. It's. It's so freaky. Yeah. And then this morning, like Liv was playing the, she's a manifesting generator. I think she's open. Um, And she also, she was playing the ukulele. So she's like playing and she's got the, what does she have? No, she doesn't have the five or the 15, but she just doesn't have like a way to like not do things really soft. So she's got the pick and she's like, ding, ding, <laughs> like going off on the ukulele. And Corinna is like walking around the house with her hands oh, on her that ears. Is the worst for a calm person. Oh, it's so bad. So we had the discussion. We had the calm discussion this morning. I said, Corinna's really sensitive to sound. Like if you didn't notice, like loud music, um, you know, playing that really loud, like beat, like beating on the drum or like making oh, yeah. a lot of noise is really it's, it's, upsetting it, it, for her. It tricks everything yeah. inside of us i don't know how to explain this to people other than to another calm person it's like it we'll like never know what we're really talking about yeah it does shock our system yeah yeah so yeah i i'm very Just, mindful of that like you can like i need to like, some i don't i'm gonna have to like set up like gopros around my house or something <laughs> right. to, able to really capture the essence of what this looks like mm-hmm. i always think someone's coming to murder me you have like I'll be in a focus that if I if I I'll be super focused and that's what le- calm is we're left brain super mm-hmm. focused and all of a sudden somebody will come up behind me and I'm like I scream like a banshee I just think super, everyone's super. yeah I'm super sensitive I if I don't know that you're there a lot of times I do know that you're there but if I'm mm-hmm. super f- hyper focused on something and you come up behind me I will scream no matter what mm-hmm. <laughs> it just does mm-hmm. not matter. It's like so shocking when people come into a calm person's aura, whether really we know you're there or not. It's like, am I just like destined to be alone? <laughs> like, I my design could really go in that direction. I mean, I have the forty point four in my unconscious Mars, which is my core wound, and then I have calm determination, and I'm just like, am I destined to live like my father? Like where he's literally destroyed all of his bonds and Mm -hmm. lives alone in a trailer by himself with nothing. I'm like, I could totally go in that direction if, if I. You could, but we all have self free will. (laughs) Well, if I allowed myself, my not self to just take the wheel. Um, But yeah, no, like, I'm just like, I, I I have to, I have to be very honest with the people that are close to me that I mm-hmm. do mm-hmm. need a lot of space whether they like it or not. I'm also a Sagittarius yeah. sun with five planets in Sagittarius. Like get the fuck away from me. Yeah, <laughs> people are always like you don't seem like you like to hug. I'm like I don't. <laughs> I love hugging people. I love hugging people, yeah. but I also need my own space. Like if the kids are all sitting on me or like piled up next to me, I'm like, guys, you're right in my bubble. And I know I should love on you and snuggle you, but sometimes I just need some yeah. room. Yeah. It's just a lot of system. Yeah. 
it. Like it depends on if someone's like really, I can always tell if someone's like really like operating from their true self, those people, I don't mind hugging so much. Um, mm-hmm. But like most people are not in that space. Like yeah. there's most people are out of alignment. Most people are a walking contradiction and mm-hmm. it's a lot on my system when I feel that. So I really, and like then I'm total resonance touch. So yeah. I take on their, their data. It just absorbs into my system. So I don't, I'm very weary now that I know all this stuff about myself, who mm-hmm. I touch, who I let into my space, who I let into my aura. Cause it's very could be very detrimental on my system. I did not realize I'm so happy that I have this information now because it's changed my life and the way that I operate with other people because I used to just let everybody into my fucking space and I my body be like, ugh, ugh, mm. ugh. And I'm like, oh my God, why weren't you listening to that? Mm-hmm. Or like it would be written all over my face because I have no poker face because I have an open throat. So people are like, you look angry. I'm like, Yes, I want you to get the fuck away from me. Um, I wouldn't tell them that, just like energetically. Um, yeah. I would be telling them that so they would sense it. Yeah, I really don't. I want people to not touch me. But I also like, you know, see, this is where contradiction, contradiction comes in our chart. I'm a vessel of love and I also am a kitchen's environment. So it's right. like, yeah, I want to gather when it's appropriate for me on my time mm-hmm. with my 515 channel. And uh, I don't want it to be for, I don't want it to be consistent (laughs) and I don't want it to be all the time. I don't, and I want it to be when I say it, which is hard. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. That's why I don't have a lot of friends. (laughs) (laughs) I'm curious if there's any other, any other touch cognition people who like to hug or don't like to hug and why you might feel that way. It like, is also a touch. Yeah. I love hugging not, people. It's like, like to hug. He doesn't you see. I wonder if it also, I mean, there's probably very, a, a lot of factors. You could yeah. look at this through a of different lens. Yeah. Um, well, wrong word, but you know, yeah, not, yeah. We don't want to get not actual get variables. Let me the, take that back. The design variables. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he, I I wonder the what came up to for me when you just said that was that you know the projector's aura is focused and absorbing, mm-hmm. so it's like you need to be in their space, but for yeah. to like be able to understand what's happening for you right in your mm-hmm. environment, but for the generator, our our aura is open and enveloping, and so it's a lot. Like you don't, yeah. we're always open. Like we talk about it actually on the podcast with Dave. Between mm-hmm. his or is closed and mine's open. So we did talk about that. So if you're interested in what that um, dynamic looks like between the two of us and what it means to be a generator with our aura and what it means to be a manifester with their aura. Yeah. I don't know how to explain this to the other types, but it's just like I'm open for business all the time. Like there's – I can't close my aura if I even try to li- – like I said, I literally have to leave. That's the only way – that I yeah. can do. So I wonder if because the generator or is so open that it's a lot for someone that has touch in their variables, uh, whether that be through the brain or the body. Yeah. Right. Um, or the physical environment. True. Um, because that's what tonal resonance is. It's connect it's our connection for from our body to our physical environment. If you didn't know when we're talking about tonal resonance, I know a lot of people don't know what that means. And we're ha- about to put out our wait list for our variable intensive. Definitely get on our email list because this is going to be a really killer intensive because we've already done this in a version before in our membership and we're taking it to the next level. I know a bunch of you are interested. And we're going to need three people to get into our intensive to make this happen. So we're going to put out a wait list soon and we're going to let people enroll early so that we can make sure that we have the right people in this group. Mm -hmm. So tonal resonance is the way that our body gets turned on in our environment. Okay. It's the way that our body connects to our physical world. Okay. So for me, for example, it's through touch. My touch, I, um, I, I'm, I'm like that kid that like, 
I, I used to be that kid. I still am. What am I, who am I kidding? Uh, this is the way that I operate. Um, I literally, when I'm, I'm out in like my environment, I have to touch everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Like they tell you, don't go in the store. No, I have to pick it up. I have to, I used to go like this and just like run my (laughs) hands when I was a kid across all the clothes, all of everything. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I have to touch it. Yep. Um, it's, it helps me understand my environment. That's what your tonal resonance does. It really helps you understand your environment. It helps you get turned on in your environment so that you can connect to the right people. Your environment is here to help you connect to the right people. Okay. We also have our environments class. If you want to sample us, get a little sample. If you're like, I want to join their intensive, but I'd like to, I'm interested in knowing a little bit more, pick up your environment. So if you go down to the description down below, you can head over to our website, humandesignastro.com, click on products, and you'll be able to see that we have our determination mini class. We have our cognition mini class, and we have our environment mini class. And then our variable intensive is going to have all the variables that include your view, perspective, and your motivation. That Those are harder to understand because the mind transfers and the mind um, like that needs to be a conversation. And I don't like giving that, giving that away as a self-paced yeah. option because yeah. it's just, it needs to be discussed. And I can't discuss that with you if it's just available on our website. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why we have created these variable uh, sorts of programs. I don't know what to call them per se, because it's not really a program. An intent, like we're calling it an intensive for it's going to be five weeks because it's going to be like we're whizzing through these each week, but we're going in depth. We're going to be experimenting. It's something that I tried to do for the last one, but it just it was too long. It was just not the right format. And so we're doing it again, but in a much more uh, deeper way. We're going deep this time. Mm -hmm. So I want some deep divers that are ready to enter their experiment in a very new way because this is the radical four transformations and we're going to kick your life up to the next level because that's what variables did for for me and i i i know that you you feel similarly too yep. with that because it just helps show you the steps to your path to purpose that's all variables really do we each have our own unique configuration um it's this is going to be called uh color code variable intensive because we're going to show you what your unique configuration to your color code actually is because this mm-hmm. pertains to color. So, so yeah, I just want to, I, I feel, I feel inclined to plug that real quick. Yeah. Not everyone's not, I mean, I know not everyone knows that we're about to do that. And then we've also been having some inquiries mm-hmm. about it for the last few months because we keep saying it's coming, but yeah, it's probably, we're still working things out, but it's looking like the end of April. So block off five weeks. Okay. Of your time. We'll we'll just need you for, you know, probably a couple hours a week. Um, and they'll also be recorded. So if you can't make it to the live one, you'll be able to get it. But I think what I would love to do is to have, um, hopefully we can get an even number here where, um, people can kind of like connect together outside of the group to work on some experiments together. And, um, yeah, I think that that's that, like, it keeps you in check. Like we're, everyone's mm-hmm. going to help keep each other in check. Yeah. So, and so that you can learn in a more deeper, profound way. Yeah. So, it helps like put things into place instead of like, oh, here's your information. Theory. Yeah. Go off into your life and go pretend. try to figure it out. No, <laughs> no. We like want you to actually like see what it feels like to go out and do those things or change some stuff. And what does yeah. the energy feel like? How do you feel when you interact with other people? And to have a like, support system in place yeah. for that. Like, I feel like I'm realizing that with the cosmic community that we also mm-hmm. have doors will open back up in April. If you're like, Oh, I missed, Yay. I missed it. Um, yeah. We'll open back up in April. If you'd like to join the cosmic community, we finally have all the types in the cosmic community now. So I'm super yeah. excited about that. Um, but I feel like people have been really um, feeling like they can take chances mm. The better in the cosmic community is what I've noticed. A lot of people are like, um, uh, now that we're talking about that, we've entered the lightning round. They're like, I feel like I'm ready 
to take action in this place or I see now with the transits where I can take action because that's yeah. what transits show you. That's what they show you where you can take action, when you can take action and when you're like, if I do that right now, I'm going to fucking f- like just fuck a lot of shit up. <laughs> like I was, uh, I, 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 um, I, I spoke at an event the other day and I was talking to someone and they, and they were talking to me about their life and what was going on with them. And then I was talking about that in reference to the transits and their design. And they said to me, I know that it's time for me to do this. And with what you're telling me that's going on the transits, right? With what's going on in the transits right now, that's telling me that I need to do this. The transits are telling me that I need to do this, Mm. but my mind wants me to hide under the covers Mm. because Mm -hmm. my mind um, like wants to like basically keep me safe. But if you know that the transits are going to be here to support you, if you take that leap of faith, that's what I feel like if you understand the way the energetics and the frequencies are actually moving, the transits can show you, I'm going to support you if you take this chance. I'm going to yeah. support you if you take this step of action. And here's the kind of step that your vehicle can take. Mm-hmm. You get so specific. And I feel like that's what the cosmic community, that's what the group of the, that's what that group of people are starting to do. They're like, oh. I can actually take a chance on myself right now. The transits are going to support me if Mm -hmm. I take this chance. So definitely join the cosmic community because we are here to support you. We have a great group of people that are also here to support you. I mean, I, I cry about this often now because, and this is also something that Leah and I have been talking about that we're going to put out some sort of um, framework around this. I've developed a, developed a system through the variables on how to find your fractal family, mm-hmm. whether that be through relationships or through business. You can do it in two di- two ways, relationships or business. So we tried it out in, the, in our membership, the doorway membership, and it was well received. People appreciated getting that information and then they started applying it to themselves. And so I was like, okay, we need to make this into a class. Yeah. So we're going to build a self-paced class. Um, I believe that's what we're going to do. We, If it changes into something else, we'll tell you. But mm-hmm. as of right now, I, I, I feel like that's the direction that I would like to go in is making this into a self-paced class so that anybody can purchase it, whether you want to join the intensive or not. Um, to show, cause th- especially we have a lot of business people and entrepreneurs yeah. that listen to this podcast and that follow us. And so I want to support you guys because we both have the channel of the entrepreneur and I do see how to be successful in business through human design. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not, not, not just like, like I see so much like just bullshit. I'm just going to say it on how to be successful in business through human design. And it's so like watered down and like not I'm not saying for everybody. I want to be very clear here. I'm not saying all yeah. everyone's doing this, but a lot of the information that I see in relation to human design business is just not right. <laughs> yeah, or it's like it's hard to actually apply there's, it or yeah, there's understand no, there's what they're no trying appli- to say. application to a lot of yeah. the stuff that I'm seeing and yeah. I'm just like what the fuck. But as A generator that's power view and desire motivation, I can literally show you each fucking step to be successful. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I've been booking so many readings lately because people are realizing, oh, she actually knows what the fuck she's talking about. And she's going to give me actionable, tangible, practical steps Mm -hmm. to actually living my life the way that I want to. Yeah. I feel that way for both our business and for my cleaning business. Like I feel really grateful for the clients that I have. Like I found them all starting on a website and they were all referrals, almost every single one, maybe like two or three were not referrals. And that's like how I need to be sent around is like this, I, this is my person. And then you give them to someone else and they have trust in me. And I feel like that just says a lot, like not just as like a projector being recognized, but like just as like a business owner and knowing that people have, you know, it's like that referral stuff. So when people for, and same for the cosmic community, when people shout us out and say, you know, how they've been impacted, it makes a huge difference for us. Cause we know that we've done something that's helped you, you know, in your life. 
it was uh, all of my uh when I did hair and makeup for for 14 years all referrals yeah majority or they saw me out and they saw my scissor tattoo <laughs> that I'll, I will never get rid of I have to keep it it's it's it's, it's part it's, of your so, life it's part of my identity mm-hmm. um and majority was through referrals that's the way that I built a lot of my business and it's uh as a projector and a generator you're not here to fucking initiate so nice. your best business is going to come through somebody else it just is mm-hmm. uh anytime that I tried to tell people oh yeah I'm a hair and makeup artist it always it it felt wrong or like I used to work at salons like whenever I'd go to a new salon and I was trying to rebuild my clientele they'd be like go start passing your cards out to all these local shops and blah I'm like no fucking way like that does not work for me Mm -hmm. so I think this next year and forward we are going to start uh, providing more for entrepreneurs uh, because we're good at that. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, like I feel like, you know, everybody wants to be like a business human design coach these days or something yeah. in relation to that. But I think, you know, good majority because majority people are not, are, are open on defined hearts might, might not be right. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I, again, I don't know. I don't know who most majority of these people are. And it's just stuff that I'm, I, I see and I'm power of you. So I see where all the holes are. Okay. That's just what I do. That's what I do. I literally can't do anything else. And when I do anything else, it's not correct for me. So I see where a lot of the holes are. And I'm not saying this is everybody. I want to be very clear. I'm not trying to like dog people here. Right. Um, but um, what I am saying is that I'm just, the two of us are just, it's a natural thing for us. It's just na- like, I can't ha- like, I've always been an entrepreneur. I can- I am not good at working for other people. And because I have this channel and also being power of you and desire and motivation, I can see where people can be successful in their businesses. And I can see where they can go in a new direction in their business and where they're maybe holding themselves back. I can see where the holes are. And um, I understand energetics. I understand what each type needs to do in order to be successful. And for the generators, the projectors, and the reflectors, do not initiate. You can do it if you want, but it probably won't work out the way you want it to or expect. It, it, I like I'm really learning as a generator now and like now that I'm like in this online space with business and everything because before I was not I was all like word of mouth that's the way that I got my business before outside of social media um but now it's like wow I really I really see like the energetic dynamics between what it means to wait to respond all i have to do is say hey universe this is what i want this is what i want to see happen and then all i have to do is wait and if i'm in true alignment with that desire because that desire lives in the sacral so if i'm in complete alignment with that desire it's not just somebody else's because oftentimes we try to have right people want and we think we want it to Mm -hmm. and I have to get clear. All generators have to get clear on their desires. And once you align to that desire, it will show up in your environment. I did a road opener spell. I can, okay, I have and also this is how I'll know if this person's listening to this podcast too. They're not probably. Um, but uh, or if they are, they're probably not listening to all of it. So I did a road <laughs> opener spell. Um last week. Uh, and I, I wanted to experiment with this because I'm, I'm getting really into rituals and spells and all the witchy stuff, which is no coincidence that I found this person either. Cause they, they are literally a witch and they're also kitchen's environment. We have the same environment and same motivation and she bridges both of my splits. And so, and we'll dive into the program in a moment. Um, but so I did this road opener spell and I asked for support and community and 
prosperity and abundance through that space. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I, that's what I was trying to activate through that spell. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so literally <laughs> the next fucking day, um, this person asks me to host this event and then at the event tells me that they want to support me just out of the kindness of their heart. They're also a defined mm-hmm. heart. So I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not surprised at this. All. They're also a defined heart, which works out for me. Uh, I really, I really, it, there's, there's a, there's like a softening and a allowance with defined heart to defined heart for some, like we just get each other, you know, and we support each other. That's what defined hearts do. And so I'm not saying the open undefined hearts don't do that, but you guys just are super fucking inconsistent with it. And I don't have the energy. I don't have the patience. I'm just going to be honest. I just don't. I don't have the patience. So if I know there's a defined heart in my aura, I'm like, okay, this is going to be easier for me. Okay. Um, That's just what ends up happening a lot of the times. Um, So she goes, I want to support you and I want you to, uh, I want to share my, I want to share you with my audience, which is, I'm not going to tell you guys the number. I almost, but when she told me the number, I almost threw up. Like I literally almost threw up. I was like, mm-hmm. I, and then I said to her, well, what do you want out of it? And she said, nothing. And I, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I literally said to her, what? And then I said to her, well, I don't operate from that. I have to exchange. Uh, mm-hmm. There has to be some sort of exchange. So we work something out with that. Um, but that's an example of what it means to be a fucking generator. Ask and you will receive Mm -hmm. as long as you are in alignment with that desire. I have such a desire to build a community in this space that I am now finding people to support me in that process. And so stop initiating generators and projectors and reflectors. Stop fucking initiating. I mean, do it if you fucking want. I mean, I'll probably still do it again. I can't lie to you. Like we're just, it's just like we have to do some not self stuff. It's just, it's going to happen. But how much, how much awareness can you create around that where you can eliminate the majority of the times you're going to do that? Because a lot of times I'm like, oh, I should go talk to that person. I should go. And I'm like, are you in response? I have to ask myself. Generators, ask yourself yes or no questions. And or get somebody else to ask you yes or no questions, okay? So that you can really start to engage with what it means to respond. So, anywho, let's jump into the, the program of this week because I did write a lot. Uh, but we'll we'll, we'll we're, we're now in time crunch zone because we got on a whole tangent there. So <laughs> let's good. just run. Let's just run through this. Okay. Uh, okay. So. Hi friends. Okay. I know you've already heard me come on here once before, but I have a very important message for you. Are you an entrepreneur, a fellow weirdo looking to reach an audience on an offer, a program, a reading, a product that you're looking to sell? We have the channel of the entrepreneur and we're looking to create very specific commercials for other entrepreneurs such as ourselves. If you're looking to get your voice out there, we have over 15,000 plays on this podcast plus a YouTube channel and we can create a very specific commercial for you to reach our audience and your message. Go down below in our description and fill out the form because there's an introductory offer waiting for you. See you over on the rest of this episode. So we leave an old program on Monday with a focus on our emotions and being open or close to sharing your spirit with others. You might have noticed this last week, you've been feeling open to sharing your feelings with someone or maybe... Uh, something to reflect on from full moon Virgo. And then um, with whether you're open to certain relationships or not. Okay. That was something that we were learning through that moon cycle was the relationships that are correct for us or not. And then we had a completion during full moon Virgo with that. 
And then we are leaving what grounds us in our minds. Okay. And this is about discovering and conceptualizing a new potential. That's what we were trying to do this last week. So there's been lots of contemplation happening this last week on really this next chapter. And so we enter into a new program on Monday with a focus on our emotions again. <laughs> like I said, a few programs back after the new year, a lot of water gates have been coming in to um, the sun and the earth gates to connect us back to self, to really see the direction we can go. And as we are in the lightning round, it's important to allow the flow right now to show you where you where you can go or show you where you can grow. Okay, so really allow this new program to show you where you are here to flow and where you are here to grow. And this is going to be a focus on crisis. And maybe something has been circling you for a while or an experience, because that's what Christ, this crisis, crisis is, is an experience, right? So an experience will take place this week that might feel daunting, harsh, could, you know, and the program is asking you to go through this experience because it's through inexperience that we can grow. So to go through this experience and to ground yourself in a little more emotion. <laughs> so it's it, there's double emotion happening this week. And this emotion is pertaining to conflict. So crisis and conflict. As we know, crisis and conflict kind of go hand in hand, right? And they travel together in the cosmos. So pay attention with how crisis and conflict show up for you this week. And can you allow yourself to surrender to the process? That's a good question to maybe journal on if you guys want to journal on this, is how can you surrender to the process that's unfolding this week? We also have another wave coming in. And what I like, or that has been kind of in from last week and say, and this is about our boundaries again, and being open to sharing or not or being open to speaking or not. This really depends on your mood. And this will be connected to a feeling or wanting to communicate with the right people. And that's I think that's going to be a huge forward movement as of now is really, who are my people? Who are my people that I want to travel with? Where's my fractal? Okay. And so that's a good question to also ask yourself this week. Where's my fractal family? And we're going to teach you what that is soon, what your fractal family is and how to find that in your chart, because it's actually there. And we found our fractal family. I fucking did it. Like I, I took this information and I applied it. And that's what we're here to do. How to apply this information to your life? Because what's the fucking point? Like it's, it's all because then it's just mind candy. If you, if you're just like living in the, uh, um, the thoughts of it, how can you take action with it? Okay, that's what we're here to show you. So we also have late on Monday, a pressure to move through t through har a hard time, okay? A pressure to move through roadblocks. And it makes sense that the program is offering us a chance to move through some hard times as we talked about with crisis and conflict this week. It's, it's, it's going to, it's going to support you. So notice where the program is supporting you and take advantage of it. This is what I'm talking about when I say take advantage of the opportunities the program is providing for you. The cosmos are saying, yes, you might face some challenges this week, but we'll support you in finding a way through it with the transits. And so we also have um, a square to Neptune on Tuesday. Uh, what is that? The 14th? Yes, I just want to double check I wrote that right. So um, yeah, the 14th that we will talk about more in the cosmic community because uh, there's some things that I like to keep tucked into the cosmic community. So we're going to have a discussion on the square in the cosmic community. So if you're listening to this right now, just definitely check in so we can have this discussion together. So be prepared for that. And you know, squares can feel a bit sharp. Okay. It has a sharp edge. So pay attention to what happens to you on Tuesday and after, okay? Because there's some harsh edges coming in this week with, with both human design and astrology. So just allow yourself to just surrender to this process. So we gain a new heart energy for a bit on Saturday that I like to call the hero's journey. 
And this is going to be a big part of this next week. Okay. So we're all going to be initiated in a new way during this time. Love is a direction. Okay. And so it's going to take us where we need to go. Don't get caught up in the ego needing to be first. Okay. Cause that's, what's going to, this energy is also going to try to be pushing us to get ahead of everything, get ahead of the game, get ahead of somebody else. Don't fall for that. Okay. And just allow for what wants to transpire to unfold. And then on Sunday, we enter into a new program on our heart and universal love. And so I know that I'm going to be feeling right at home the following week. I'm ready. I'm ready because I need I need fucking let me just like settle. Okay. And so that's what this next program is going to help all of us do is settle into our hearts, our heart space. And so the focus will be on universal love. We might feel now that we have left crisis and conflict at this point, that we can settle into the connection that runs through all of us, the thread that runs through, which is love. And we're being grounded in more love. Okay. This is one of my favorite programs because it's me. <laughs> okay. So uh, usually if people say this is because it's love is so warm, right? The heart center is so warm, right? The G center is so warm. Um, so this, this is one of my favorite programs when this happens, uh, because it's, it's part of mine, the vessel of love. We're entering into the vessel of love this following week after the crisis. Okay. And so we're being grounded in the love of the body and an opportunity to realize that these bodies, these vehicles are simply a vessel that houses our soul. I know that I live that it's my unconscious son and my unconscious mercury. So I I realized that, and this is how, you know, human design is so real that people don't get that. I was like, once I realized like, oh, not everybody has this love energy that consistently runs through them all the time. Like, what would that look like if everybody had these love gates? Would we be in a better place? Maybe potentially. Um, It's because I noticed that a lot when we transit the vessel of love that people kind of are a little more understanding, a little more loving to each other. So that's going to be the opportunity towards the end of the week into the following week. So that's what's going on this week. That's it. Wow. So I pulled the King of Pentacles, um, which a few things came up while you were talking. So it's a Taurus energy. And it has very, it's like, I mean, look for the people on YouTube. He's covered in like this cloak with grapes and um, it was very powerful energy. It's also very like there's tons of abundance mm-hmm. um, as the like kings, queens, um, what are the other two? <laughs> Princes and princesses, knights or pages, whatever you want to yeah. call them. Yeah. Um, those are all about you. So it's more of like a personal thing. Um, so there's, I feel like for this card for this week is about abundance and looking around you and seeing the abundance around you. Um, and also like paying it forward to other people in some way, like how can you not like generously give everything away, but how can you be, and like you said, be kind toward others. So dive into that heart energy and be, you know, do stuff, something for someone else instead of, um, just being kind of like self-absorbed with that because we do like to, we're humans, we're all about ourselves, but it it does feel good. It's like that reciprocating energy when you give to someone else or when you do something with, with, or for someone else, you feel good in return too, whether or not they know it's you or they do, you know, so it's a really powerful energy. Um, it could also mean, I'm just going to look at my, my book. It's also like, you could be receiving money. You could be receiving gifts. You could be on the receiving end of things. Um, I feel like I'm ready for that information. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all ready for that. We're all ready for that. Yeah. Um, th- it could also be a wealth of knowledge. So maybe you're, you know, diving into a new study or diving into a new program or diving into a new, um, you got one of our mini classes, you know, like something like that. You're learning about yourself. You're learning about something new. Um, and then you said roadblocks. So this can also be, um, an, 
you know, this is just my interpretation, but he's got his his foot like on the top of a head of this figure, some sort of like statue thing. And I just see that as like, that's not blocking me anymore. Like those are the things that I'm not going to let block me on my way toward abundance. So what, if you're looking around you, what blocks are around you? What blocks are standing in your way? How can you just say not now, this isn't, you know, this isn't going to hold me back anymore. And how can I step into this next phase or whatever? So, uh, yeah. And pentacles and, are also, I mean, they are related to money. Mm -hmm. You see pentacles show up in a tarot spread. Yep. It's it's calling to you to reflect on money, to, to notice that money is about to come in for you in some way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also when it comes with like the king of pentacles, it's like saying like, really allow yourself to see that you are fully abundant. That yeah. like if you look at that card, like you he can see like he's, he's settling like into the abundance. Like he's yeah. like I'm fucking rich. Like yeah. that's King of Pentacles. Like like how how like how rich and fulfilled are you mm -hmm. in life? Might be a question to ask yourself. Do a little uh, journal prompt with this. Yeah, like gratitude list or something. Because if you're maybe this is like a uh, prompt for you to if you're not in that headspace, if you're not in that, like, I don't have any abundance around me. I don't have anything good. I need to look toward. There is, there there's is a ton. Something. We there's just choose something. to only see certain things. So when you open yourself up to see more, I mean, I've done this for myself. I have journals and journals and journals of gratitude lists. And now it's just like this automatic thing for me is to just look around me and be like grateful for the things that I have or the things that I see around me instead of, I mean, that was my transfer of survival was like all the stuff that I don't have, all the money I don't yeah. have and how, look how all this material stuff, it's not serving me. It's like, well, that's proof that money is there because there's always, you know, something exchanged. There's always something happening there. So um, and then the next card I got is called Pride. And I'm just loving this deck. I'm going to get out of the light. Kind of makes sense with we're, we're having a lot of hard energy. Yep. This week. And we have so, been having a lot of hard energy. Yeah, we have. So it's just, it's just expanding. Um, so this one says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You need to take time to honor and acknowledge who you are and what your soul has accomplished with your life thus far. You should look at your past soul choices and be mindful of how through your positive actions, compassion, and understanding, you have made a better life for yourself and others. How have you changed the world in some little way? How have you shared insights with others and reflect on what you have mastered? You should never underappreciate or underestimate yourself or your accomplishments. Now is the time for you to remember how brave you have been throughout your journey. Celebration is required. Humans tend to spend too much of their energy and time on negative emotions, just said that, and that or things that they should have not done. And this card signifies that you should take rightful ownership of who you are and how you have shared your unique light with the world. It may also be a perfect time for you to look around and acknowledge those other souls who have also accomplished many great things and who need to be reminded of them. Hmm. So again, remind others of the things that they've done. Maybe they're just not feeling super great about something and you give them that recognition, you give them that, you know, little boost of energy or or pride saying, you know, listen, maybe you're not feeling like you've done anything, but look at all the stuff that you have done. And maybe that thing isn't working out. Let's, what can you do moving forward? What has worked for you and what hasn't? How can you move, move on? Yeah. This might be a good question to ask yourself towards the end of the week as we enter into the vessel of love energy. Yeah. Um, because you'll be able to kind of like tap in to the love of self a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um, even though that's not the gate that's coming in, but it's all connected. It's it, it actually unconsciously it is. So like if you look at the holistic chart of that day, I sometimes like to look at the holistic chart to see uh what what were the like if someone were to be born on that day, they would they would be a vessel of love. So it's important to allow yourself this week to, to surrender to the to what you know challenges you might face but to know that towards the end of the week it's all going to work out mm -hmm. it feels very hope hopey hope motivation mm -hmm. um which don't you don't do um <laughs> not me <laughs> because 
transferred hope. So she's yeah. guilt. Just a different spin on it though. You know, like yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. And may, I mean, maybe if you are guilt, you know, or probability view, maybe you can just see some spots, some places that maybe need a little more love. Yeah. Where do you need to spread the love a little bit more this week and into next? Because it's going to be more prominent next week. This week, it's like allow yourself to surrender the process. Go through the experience, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're going to come out on the other side. So that's all we got. That's what we got for the week. If you're watching us on YouTube, give us a big thumbs up. Write us a comment. And um, also, don't forget to sign up for um, my free masterclass. I'm doing a free masterclass with um, fellow generator Maureen Webb, and it's all going to be about abundance. Woo-hoo. It's how to make an abundance altar. That's what it's going to be, a masterclass on an abundance altar. And I'm going to show you how to do a nightstand one, and then Maureen's going to show you how to do one that's the size of your fucking room. Uh, <laughs> she's at Aries, so that's what she she does. So, And then also, don't forget to sign up for our workshop. And we're going to show you all the stuff that's been happening to me, the magic that's been happening to me. I mean, I'm like booking clients left and right. I now have this other, I have a few other opportunities that are presented themselves and it's all from using my rituals. And so we're going to show you how to do that yourself because I am not any more special than you. Okay. So we're going to show you how to really take aligned action through your design through rituals that are correct for you. And we're going to show you our whole process, all of our steps as generators on how you can do that. So it's it's six plus hours of, of, of this workshop. Go down below to the description, sign up right now for the workshop. You will not regret it. Okay. That was my channel of entrepreneur. So <laughs> have a good week and uh, we'll see you over there on the next one. I'll see ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Crystal and I are really here as defined hearts to provide value to you with our unique insights. If you have found any of this episode valuable to you, we ask that you share with a friend, tag us with a highlight on Instagram, and write us a review so we can reach more people. Human design and astrology are tools to guide us toward our transformation. You are a unique and beautiful being, and we encourage you to let that light inside of you shine bright. See you in the next episode, friends.